Hello all my YouTube followers and fans out there. Back at you with another cooking video. Well, a baking video. Yes, for St. Patrick's Day. So today we're gonna make a green velvet cake. Green velvet cake. Well, picture a red velvet cake, but this time it's a green velvet cake. So we're gonna make that today. And the recipe comes from itsybitsykitchen.com. Green velvet cake. And I'm also gonna put yellow in the middle later too. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for our cake recipe, all right, and you may notice I'm not wearing my chef's coat. I decided to wear some green. Yes, in honor of St. Patrick's Day, which guess what, is my birthday. Yes, I was born on St. Patrick's Day. So yeah, I'm an Irish man. <laughs> all right, so what we're gonna do, as for our cake, we're going to get our mixer ready. I got a few extra bowls here and stuff I forgot to take out earlier. We'll just set these over here. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. So for our cake, we're going to need two and a half cups of flour. Put that on there nice and tightly. Uh, two and a half teaspoons of cocoa powder, a uh, teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, uh, sugar, we're going to need a half a cup of granulated sugar, uh, one, no, no, actually no, one and a half cups of granulated sugar, uh, one and a half cups of vegetable oil, three eggs, one tablespoon plus one uh, uh, vanilla extract for later, and one teaspoon of white vinegar, a cup of buttermilk, and one tablespoon of green food coloring. And I got some yellow food coloring here as well. All right. So first, we're gonna preheat our oven, which I already did, and we'll spray the cake pans later when I get done. All right, so now we're going to stir together the flour, the cocoa, We're also going to stir the baking soda and salt in a small bowl. So now we're going to combine the sugar, eggs, and vanilla in my mixer here. So we're going to put our sugar in our mixer. We're going to add our oil. Vanilla and our vinegar in this bowl here. Oh, not even plugged. <laughs> yeah, let me plug that up. I had my air fryer plugged in. The other day I made some good old delicious uh, potato chips, air fried potato chip fries, and man, they were good. I'm gonna have to show you how to make them on a, on a later show. there. We're gonna, uh, let's see what else. 
combine for about two minutes. And always remember a cooking tip is to scrape down the sides of your bowl. All right, because when you do that, it helps everything get incorporated very well. When you scrape down the, the sides of your bowl. All right, so now that's done. We're gonna go ahead and mix in our flour. And then once we mix everything in, I'll add the food coloring. But because I want the middle to be yellow, I'm gonna take out about a cup or a cup and a half of the cake batter and then mix it separately before I put the green food coloring in. All right, so we're gonna take our measuring cup, put a little bit in at a time. Mix everything together. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and mix everything. All the dry ingredients are going to incorporate it. We're going to scrape down the sides of the bowl. And uh, add the butter and then the food coloring. down the sides of the bowl. And once again, that helps everything gets incorporated very well. mix it because what happens is if you over mix it the cake the cake will be too dry and tough. Mix it just a little bit more. yellow food coloring.
color you're going to pour on this side here. We're done. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put a aluminum foil in these. And the reason why I put aluminum foil down and spray them is that way when the cake gets done, all you gotta do is lift it out of there and uh, you put these back in the cabinet when you're done. Uh, but these are non-stick and the cake will be able to come out. But I like to use aluminum foil sometimes. That way it's easy to come out and clean up. Oh, there's no problem. <laughs> Okay, so we got aluminum foil. your cooking spray. Got my pans all buttered. So I'm going to put the yellow in the middle. green middle as well kind of smells like red velvet cake These are going to go in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes until a toothpick comes out and, inserted, come, and toothpick inserted comes out clean. 
And while these are baking, we're gonna go ahead and get that frosting ready. to make that frosting. So we're gonna need one eight ounce of cream cheese, which is uh, about one little pack of it right there. three-fourths of a cup of butter, which is a, a stick and a half. Slice up your butter. with my hand mixer. And when you cream this, make sure it's at room temperature. cream, cheese, butter, and butter together, and then we're going to beat in the vanilla and the salt. whole entire bag of powdered sugar, which is about four cups. Really, I think about six cups, so almost the entire bag. heavy cream. I'm going to add in a little bit more 
powdered sugar, and I think that'll be just about good right there. And I got some sprinkles. We're going to sprinkle right on top. Final layer. And then this is what I recommend. You take either a butter knife or a steak knife and you stick it right down the middle of the cake. That'll prevent it from sliding all over the place.
frosted. So now we're gonna put it in the refrigerator and let it set. That way the frosting won't get all uh, drippy. And I got a butter knife anchored right in the middle. And the reason why I have it like that because it helps anchor the cake. It helps it from, uh, prevents it from s slipping over. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator for a little while and uh, let that uh, set in the refrigerator. And then I'm gonna take it out and clean it up. And guess what? We're gonna cut it up and eat it. Well, the whole thing, a piece of it. <laughs> Time to sample. Mm. Mm. That fulfills my sweet tooth on my birthday. St. Patrick's Day green velvet cake. With yellow right in the middle. Oh yeah. He had us any time. St. Patrick's Day, birthdays. Yeah, especially for my birthday. <laughs> and uh, go ahead and give this cake a try. Let me know how it tastes. And leave a comment or, uh, yeah, leave a comment. And uh, also be sure to turn those notifications on and hit that subscribe button so you can get the latest on more videos to come soon. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in our next video.